Hi, this is Wilbert Audio and let's continue our journey on audio system development and we are at step 5 already which is the step of the preamp so once you have uh, your room, your loudspeaker match, your amplifier, your interconnects and everything I mean interconnects, speaker cable, power cords down then it's really time for you to focus on your preamp and basically when I'm talking about preamp the heart of it is a high quality volume control mechanism that's the most important part of course if you have a mainstream approach then your preamp also needs to be an impedance matching device that's going to get more complicated you are going to have to pay a uh, more tight attention for that aspect however in any path you have chosen whether mainstream or purist the quality of the volume control itself is an absolute uh, uh, game changer so it's going to result in a complete quantum leap in your experience if you go for high quality volume controlling and um, that's also something that you could try before but uh, to maximize the path the success on your path you should do it after you have lots of things already down and that's because it's going to allow you to hear much more of what your system can do and if your house is not in order and under your house i mean your system is not under control then improving volume control quality will just cause uh, will result in very ambivalent results so what i would recommend the most is uh, the absolute best is a total hot rod when you just ignore volume control completely and you have optimized your system to play at your optimal listening volume at all times and uh, and this will lead to the this is the best possible volume control it, it cannot get any better uh, any other choice you are going to take will give you the freedom to change the level you are listening to with a compromise in the listening quality uh, so anyway fixing your volume control will result in a paradigm shift and a total change on how you listen to music and uh, to reach that you either need to uh, be get a little bit creative here and try unusual approaches or your other that's when you go for purist road and if you go mainstream road this is going to be a very expensive step to take properly there's no way around it so tweaks that's the next step that's kind of like the final zone of uh, system optimization the tweaks should be uh, taken uh, as as an attention as as a as as a, as, as a focus uh, when everything is in order because the tweaks are what the name says tweaks if you have a system that has major weaknesses then that does not require a tweak that requires serious fixing and when it's fixed now you are ready for the tweaks and uh, that's it I could I could really go into more details about that you can read but uh, now you are when you are watching this video now it's been only four minutes for you but I've been making these this series on system tweaking in one sitting so for me it's been uh, hours already doing these videos and I'm just really I can barely talk now uh, I'm really tired talking that much and uh, really I just want to finish as soon as I can what 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 did I write here 
Final advice. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. So, uh, thank you for tuning in. I hope you, uh, you gained uh, useful advice from this series. And, uh, and I, I really wish the best for, for everyone to, uh, to get the most out of your audio path. And, and, and perhaps the most important thing you will experience is the uh, experience of uh, listening to different equipment how do they work together what were the benefits what were the drawbacks of each and uh, and uh, when you have a greater experience basis that you will be able to make stronger choices for the next choice the choice that's about to come when you want to take a new direction for your system and uh, by this time you get to the tweak level where you can seriously focus on your tweaks then you are already in what people would call as audio heaven so at that stage when uh, when you are at that stage if you have friends coming over of course you will have only very few who will like that approach you have taken but there will be some of your audio friends who will really love the sound that uh, that you have achieved for yourself and uh, and when you have your audio buddies at your place and you see some of them frowning or some of them not happy don't be disappointed i've never uh, or extremely rarely experienced uh, an audio system where uh, if there's more than three people listening to it they were in uh, even the vaguest sort of uh, consensus about what they are hearing uh, how they, they uh, rate it whether they would want it and in their home or not because that's also a thing that 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 you might notice that that sound is amazing but but when you think about it, do I want to listen to this every day? And your answer is no. So, so that's why a systems building is a very, very uh, delicate thing. And you really have to listen to your heart. You really have to listen to what your inner voice is saying, that where you should go. And when you make your next step, then make that decision based on your inner voice. Do not make that decision based on reviews so that you are aimlessly binging on reviews and, and there is a very charismatic person uh, r telling his or her experience with, with a specific uh, component and, and now you have the desire to have it at all costs. That is the surefire way of shooting yourself with a pellet gun in the arse. The, the proper way to develop your system is to listen to it with your full attention. And that's key, full attention. So when you listen to your system, stop, your, stop the monkey in your head do not think about oh whether my system would sound as a Wilson audio or a audio note or, or, or whatever. Oh, oh, I wish I had an MSB deck and so on and so on. Stop your inner dialogue when you are listening to the music and for the first time, maybe the first time in your life, just absorb what you are hearing, process it and think. What is it that you like about it? What it is that you dislike about it? What it is that you love about it? And what it is that you hate about it? And based on this, start a focused search for components that can take you to the right direction. And then if you find uh, a suitable deck that fits your category and if there's the person who is raving about it then sure try it out but 
be on the path, be focused and get what you need, get what's applicable to your situation because your situation is going to be radically different from the system and from the listening preferences of the person who are doing those reviews which are online. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you really enjoyed this series and got something out of it. And if you did, just put it in the comments and I hope that YouTube will show those comments to me. If you happen to watch them a long time after I made these videos, then I really don't get uh, notices. If the video is made within the past few days, I, I usually, not always, I usually get notifications from YouTube and I try to answer as soon as I can. Sometimes I cannot get to uh, answer it for a couple of days, so don't worry about it. I will answer as soon as I can. Uh, so that's it. So please like, subscribe, tell your friends and have an amazing audio journey. Bye bye.